Oh, I see, you see that so much. That's such a clever thing to say. Because if you ever get um, an adult who experiences loss, that is heady enough and complex enough for an adult to understand the idea that someone is gone. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Dr. Nick Analyzes, where I take a psychological perspective of various music songs. Today, we are gonna do a bit more NF, and we're gonna do a song called How Could You Leave Us? Now, I've reacted to a couple of other NF songs, and he's proper cool, proper talented, and proper raw in his lyrics. I expect this song, How Could You Leave Us, to have all of those elements to it. And I believe that this song will be about NF's mother leaving him when he was younger. And so I'm a little bit sort of excited and a little bit nervous to see uh, what sort of messages NF puts into this song. I hope you like what I go for. Could you leave so unexpected? We waited, we waited for you, but you just left us. We needed you, I needed you. You are. I'm gonna stop it already. Um, it, it's emotional. It's emotional just, just hearing that. I mean, that was NF singing. I mean, obviously NF is known best for rapping, but that was NF singing. There was such emotion in his, um, in his voice. To see those children run into their mother, it just, it, rem it reminds me of my own children and the way that they take so much comfort from her. So much like physical comfort, the, the feelings of safety you get from being around someone that knows that, um, that, and you know that they're gonna, they're gonna fight a lion for you. That's, that's what you get. That's what you sort of, you almost expect from sort of like that mother relationship. And so knowing that like this song is called, how could you leave us? And then seeing those kids at the moment at which their mother was still around and the way that they ran to their mother and they embraced their mother. It just, it makes it more heartbreaking. It's hard to, it's hard to watch, to know sort of like what's coming. And then he said the words, we were waiting. We were waiting like, like there was an expectancy that they would see their mother again. Like there was a, it was, it's almost a, it should be a given for children, right? That they get to have that, they get to have, their mother and so if their mother isn't around for some time then we'll wait for for, for our mother to come back um and of course what's heartbreaking about that is that the the wait didn't result in them seeing their mother again um it's really it's really really hard and then I, there are pills on the bed and so that makes me think that nf's mother committed suicide relative to just relative to just leaving relative to just 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 running off and that magnifies the pain by a hundred it's not just that the mother left it's that the mother left and can never be accessed ever again um just yeah it's it's, it's a it's a hard it's a hard start to the uh, to the song all right i'm gonna get on with it now watch some some more minutes of it I don't know what it's like to be addicted to pills, but I do know what it's like to be a witness to kills. Mama told me she loved me. I'm thinking this isn't real. I think of you when I get a whiff of that cigarette smell. Yeah. Welcome to the bottom of hell. They say pain is a prison. Let me out of my cell. You say you proud of me, but you don't know me that well. Sit in my room, tears running down my face, and I yell. Into my pillowcases. Say you coming to get us, then call a minute later just to tell us you're not. I'm humiliated. I'm in a room. With the parent that I don't barely know Some lady in the corner watching us While she's taking notes I don't get it mom I'm 
Don't you wanna watch your babies grow? I guess pills are more important. All you have to say is no. But you won't do it, will you? You gon' keep popping till them pills kill you. I know you're gone, but I can still feel you. I got this picture in my room and it kills me. But I don't need a picture of my mom, I need the real thing. Now a relationship is something we won't ever have. But why do I feel like I lost something that I never had? You should have been there when I graduated. Told me you love me and congratulations. Instead you left us at the window waiting. Where you at, mom? We're too young to understand. Where you at, huh? Yeah, I know them drugs that got you held captive. I can see it in your eyes, they got your mind captured. Some say it's fun to get the high, but I am not. It hasn't got any easier to watch. I mean, it's got all of those things that I talked about right at the beginning. It's, it's raw, but it's it's um, it's delivered so well. It's delivered so passionately. It's got like this. NF does this dual thing, this dual emotion really well. He does he does the relationship between anger and sadness. Um, so like you can when he when he's rapping there, there's a real anger. There's a real sort of like almost um there's a there's a hatred there's a there's a an, an unacceptance of this that that is there because of how sad he feels those two things they often go hand in hand sometimes like if you get kids in a school and you get a kid that is having trouble at home the way that 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 kid manifests that sadness and that sort of like unhappiness at home is sometimes through anger it's through hitting kids it's through shouting at teachers throwing chairs at teachers it, and, and it looks like just anger, but it's never just anger. There's always something there that's sort of like underneath that anger. And for NF, it's just sort of like this absolute, he's gutted. He's, you know, he's, he, he's so sad to have lost this, uh, this relationship that he's, that he's, he's, he's so angry about it. And so my, my immediate emotional reaction is oh, I'm gutted. I'm gutted for you that you sort of like had this. There were some clues there as to what was going on. It, it seems as though um, NF's mum was addicted to to, uh, to drugs. And that's a tricky one, isn't it? Because there's a simple... There's a simple um, answer to the question, how, how could you leave us? But nothing's ever simple. People always want simple answers. When it comes to psychology, nothing's ever simple. NF could be thinking, how could you leave us? How could you choose the drugs over us? It would never have felt like a choice. Why didn't you have the strength to choose us over the drugs? It's just not that simple. Like addiction and those drugs would have had such a hold on her that it wouldn't have felt like she had a choice. It just would have all been a whirlwind of experiences and emotions and I don't know it's it's like I'm not gonna sit here and judge someone for uh, for not honoring a relationship with their kids when under the influence of a drug addiction I haven't walked in those shoes so if anything I just I feel super sad for the for the mum that her life led her to a place where she happened to be reliant on these drugs and that as a result of that one she, i assume she's lost her life but two she's lost this relationship with uh, with her kids but from nf's perspective flipping neck you know he would have been left when he says us i assume his siblings as well so it would have been he would have felt responsible for uh, for his siblings and their pain and their suffering, you can understand the anger because from a kid's mind, it's such a simple thing, right? It is a, you chose that over us. I just, I'm not sure how much of a choice she really would have felt that she uh, she had. Um, 
I think the other thing that I thought is important to cover is he said something like our minds were too young to understand this oh you see that so much that's such a clever thing to say because if you ever get um an adult who experiences loss that is heady enough and complex enough for an adult to understand the idea that someone is gone time has passed something has happened they're gone and you can never see them again like this is something that that like every adult i know struggles with a young mind cannot deal with that it's so, like and and like to begin with that young mind might just bounce along in their life as if like nothing sort of happened almost because they can't process it but over time they'll process it and that grief will show itself in like various ways like these kids when they would have found out then they weren't going to see their mother again they wouldn't have been able to comprehend it it's like trying to understand the existence of a god like our minds are just not equipped to understand that their minds just wouldn't have been able to understand that at that time and their grief would have leaked into them or out of them for years afterwards and it's still in him now that's what this song is about this song is him grieving now 20 years later or something because it's because he can't process what exactly has happened here and so like they've shot this so well as well because because the kids are in the screen like kids have got they're so vulnerable aren't they and they're so innocent and they need their mums and these kids haven't got their mum. And so like it it makes me really emotional to think of that. Just the whole thing is just super sad. I'm gutted for him. I'm gutted for, for the mum. Um, yeah, right. I'm going to keep going. Why would you leave us? How could you leave us? How could you leave us? Why would you leave us? last conversation you and i sat in the living room talking about my music and i brought you something to listen to you started crying telling me this isn't you a couple weeks later guess you were singing a different tune you took them pills for the last time didn't you they took you from us once i guess they came back to finish you crying my eyes out in the studio is difficult music is the only place that i can go to speak to you it took everything inside of me not to scream at your funeral sitting in my chair that person talking was pitiful i wish you were here mama but Every time I picture you, all I feel is pain. I hate the way I remember you. They found you on the floor. I could tell you felt hollow. Gave everything you had, plus your life to them pill bottles. You gave everything you had, plus your life to them pill bottles. Don't know if you hear me or not, but if you're still watching, why? Why would you leave us? Why would you leave us? How could you leave us? How could you leave us? I think about like sometimes I think about things like you know when I have kids and like when I, you won't be there you know you won't be there for any of that just called you. I wish I would have just picked up the phone. But you were here. I mean, you should have been there for us. You should have been here. And Bill's got you right. And Bill's got you right. I wish you were here. That's the hardest thing I've watched. I think when I reacted to Juice World, Lean With Me, that was hard because there was someone that was that was spiraling out of control. 
I found that harder to watch. Because for lots of different reasons, but you can see there that he's not angry. He's sad. He's gutted. Like he's he, like th th those words don't give it just. He's devastated. This devastated him. You can see how much he loved his mum. Like you look at some of the pictures that were in that movie. Yeah, there was the pictures of the mum taking the pills, but there's also the pictures of the mum having a lovely relationship with her kids. And that's where NF's mind will go often. It'll go to the... You don't, you don't grieve for someone that you didn't love. So NF would have had a childhood of fun times with his mum, of sort of like a physical comfort from his mum, of the feeling of safety from being around his mum. Like he would have had all of those things. And the reason why he's so angry and the reason why he's so devastated is because he doesn't get to have those things anymore with this person that he loved. So yeah, you know, he his like his his devastation is manifest in his anger. But don't don't mistake don't think anger is the only thing going on there. The devastation is the thing that's that's going on here. And it is it was that that bit at the end, I mean Byron is here watching this uh, with me, but he can't. He, I'm not sure he can hear the, the um, the words being delivered. There's a bit there where NF was, and this is on a recorded track. Was struggling to get his words out. As an adult man who lost his mother a long time ago, was struggling to get his words out. That was the levels of devastation, and it just it made me think. Like, how brave it is of him to, like, get his a therapeutic release from writing this and putting it out there for the whole world to see. Like, what a vulnerable position that is to put yourself in, to show people your pain in such a, in such a raw way. I think it's, I think it's incredible that he, um, that he does this, that he manages to write in this, in this way, in this way that's so raw and real. And it will, anybody else who's out there who's lost a parent will look at this and think, this song, it encapsulates my experience so well. It'll make me feel like I'm not alone because NF and various other people would have gone gone through this sort of thing. Like if you look at the research on attachment, you, you it, ha, losing a caregiver early in your life, it matters. It matters as you go throughout your life in various ways. It can matter in small ways, like, you know, the way that you have relationships with people, but it can matter in big ways with respect to mental health and whatnot as well. And so, like, this this thing that NF has gone through, this is no small thing, you know. It don't, I almost feel like I'm like I'm a, a reactor, right? So I'm a YouTube reactor. I almost feel like I'm bastardizing what it is to do this by having witnessed that and reacting it and getting views on my own channel for seeing that because that that there was just a whole five minutes of pure devastation that um that i'm witnessing but the upshot is is that um it, it i think the the video is doing what it's designed to do which is to impact people it impacted me emotionally it made me appreciate what it is to be a mother more than what it, than what I did five minutes ago. And for those people that have lost parents, it will help them. It will help them to process it and help them to feel a sense of community, a sense of being understood. Wow. Wow. I'm going to have to take 10 minutes to recover from that, I think. But um, thank you for uh, thank you for watching. And um, I'll definitely be watching some more uh, some more nf and uh, catch you next time bye bye did you hear that i could see all the words and i could hear more of it. that was like and it was of course a weird one for me right because if i'm in a room and i'm recording by myself and i feel like i'm welling up then i'll just well up but obviously you're here as well so i'm just like oh god I'm, i need to try and not well up now <laughs> I've been byron byron sat over there but man like that it, it like for a child who doesn't understand what addiction is or an adult doesn't understand what addiction is it can become some some such a simple issue which is you chose the drugs 
over us. It's never that simple. Like a drug addiction is like the people that, and like there was one line in there that said something like, um, this isn't me. That was her speaking. Like, this isn't me. This is a thing that's sort of like happening to me. And I can't escape it. I can't do anything to get out of this, but this isn't me. And I, I'm sure like in her heart, she felt the full, the full world of love for her children, just like we, we, we feel for our children and just felt like she could do nothing about this thing that had a, had a hold over her. And so it's not, it's not, she didn't choose the drugs over her children. She just couldn't get out of the hole, you know? No, and unfortunately, we see everything in black and white. We know there's yeah. a gray area, but the gray area, we don't realize how vast that expanse is. So if we zoom out on into space and we look at the planet Earth, the planet Earth looks very small and insignificant, mm -hmm. but let's call that the gray area. Yeah. And then if we go live there, there's a whole ecosystem. Yeah. And it's exactly the same for the person. They have to live within the gray area. And that expanse is huge. Yeah. Yeah. So we, how do you make sense of stuff then? And you, 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 know? you can't, you can't because yeah. you, you only live life through your own reality and her reality is this gray area. Yeah. She has no concept of, she has fleeting moments with greatness with her kids, yeah. but those are almost like snapshots. And then she's pulled back into the gray. Yeah. And that is where her life lives. Yeah. 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 And it, it, it's difficult it's it's to nice comprehend that. And I used to be very black and white when it came to things like suicide. I, I used to think mm. it was a very selfish thing. Mm. How could you leave people and what have you? Mm. But as you get older, yeah. you realize that yeah. it's that, that gray area. Uh, yeah, that yeah, gray yeah. area. And it was a study or that is, and it, it's a simple thing. So they were talking about kids and they were saying as an adult, the taste receptors in a child is infinitely more receptive to taste and everything. Mm. And as the adults, we lose that. Mm. So we almost become numb to life. Yeah. But then that goes then for emotions and everything yeah. the child feels and to have such happiness and grief. Yeah. Those are so poor, poor. Or how do you, how does the child bridge that gap? Yeah. And it, they don't, that it just comes out later on in life. Yeah. And grief is awful when it comes to that because it's not a manifestation that happens at the time. It's something that presents itself later on in life. Yeah. Yeah, man. It was a mad one to watch that one. It really was. Right. Let's move on. As a, as a heavy first one. Do you want to? <laughs> it was probably good to get it out of the way, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. You know. But, like, you know, you think that he's like. There are ways to make music that don't involve you having to do that, but he's choosing to do it music in that sort of way, you know, mm. in this raw sort of like, I'm going to be totally authentic and totally real with people. And, and like my gut would say with this fella, that if someone came to him and said, right, you can write some shitty pop song and become a millionaire, or you can write an authentic song that's listened to by a thousand people, he'd go, I'll go for the authentic song because that's how I want to be as an artist. I want to be authentic and real and raw and stuff. Do you know what I mean? And so the fact that he's got so many, so many followers is brilliant, but I, I think he's, he's, he, you know, he, I think he knows what he stands for uh, as an, I think he knows what he wants to be about irrespective of the riches that may or may not come afterwards. And I think there's something really cool about people that are like that people that know who they are and what they want to stand for and how they want to do something, you know? Well, you just got to look at the way the cinematography is with everything, with the way that the video is shot, everything is down, dark, plain vanilla. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. he's not casting any dispersions of what reality is like. Yeah, everything was beige, like the yeah. walls were beige, the room, yeah. everything was underexposed yeah. because it's almost like looking back on that part of your life, it's never a clear vision. Yeah. There's yeah. no... I didn't pick up on that, but you're right. You're right, you know, and that was that would have been done on purpose. A deli that's a deliberate, yeah, yeah. deliberate way of shooting it. Yeah. And the only brighter areas is when perhaps they're in the car, yeah. and she's smiling, and then they've lifted the exposure yeah. to you know emote that happiness. But then when it goes back to it, everything's underexposed, just to show that. Yeah. Wicked. All right. Yeah.
let's go on.